In today's video, we will learn how to get started with a Wemos D1 Mini, and that's coming up right after the intro. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. Today we'll be getting started with the Wemos D1 Mini. Firstly, we'll be going through some of the basic features and specs of the board and after that we'll learn how to upload our first sketch to the little board. The Wemos D1 mini board is a 34 by 26 mm Wi-Fi board with 4 MB of flash and is based on the ESP8266 e e e EX chip. This little board weighs around 3 grams and features a total of 11 digital input and output pins, which all support interrupt, PW, PWM, I2C and one wire, except for D0. D3 and D4 can be used to pull 10K up, of which D4 has a built-in LED. D8 then can pull 10K down, and the port of course has a TX and RX pin. Next to all of this we have one analog input pin with a maximum of 3.3 volts and the little board has a reset pin as well. The board itself runs on 3.3 volts and has only one 3.3 volts pin and ground pin. The board also includes a micro USB connection which you can easily use to upload your programs to. The chip is compatible with MicroPython, Arduino and NodeMCU as well. Now that we have learned a little bit more about this little chip, let's try to write our first program. Most of the time the Wemos D1 Mini should already contain a driver. To check whether it has a driver or not, you can simply plug in the board like so. And if Windows or Mac OS does not recognize the board, it probably means you will need to install the drivers first, which you can find on the link in the description down below. After you have installed the driver, you should, you probably will have to restart your computer before you can start using the board. Now we can open up our, up our Arduino IDE and have to make sure we have the additional board definitions. To do this, go to File, then Preferences, and then add in this link right in, uh, in here. If you, have, if you already have some links inside this field, just add a comma and paste in the link like so. You can get the link from in the description down below. Once you have added the link, click OK. Now that this is added, we can install the needed board definitions by going to Tools, then Board, now select Boards Manager, and type in ESP8266 and install the required board definition. Now we have to close our Arduino IDE and then open it again, and we should be able to select to select the exact board, so go to Tools, then Board, and select Wemos, D1, R2 and Mini. Now let's write a few basic lines to make the built-in LED light up. Let's start by setting the serial speed. Now let's set the built-in LED to output like so. Now inside the void loop, let's do a digital write on our built-in LED and turn it to high. Then create a serial print of this as well and a delay of a second. Now let's repeat this process but instead we will turn off the built-in LED. Now we can try to run our program and open up our serial monitor. And as you can see the Wemos D1 Mini is now blinking on and off. There should be a link to a Wemos D1 Mini Wi-Fi board in the description down below. One cheaper version and one more expensive but faster to arrive. For all of my schematics and code with in-depth explanations of all of my videos, I suggest you click on the Patreon link in the description down below. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.